Hello everybody, I'm back in OpenTTD. Uh, uh, the crazy stuff is over. However, there was still one project that I wanted to finish. Uh, and uh, that's the self-regulating network packs based on timer where our trains running uh, 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 along that network without any orders and they joining the main lane uh, thanks to circuit I call circuits I call injectors uh, those injectors allowed uh, those trains join in a synchronized way then we have some kind of structure uh, uh, on main lane that allows me to be sure that those trains will never ever uh, interfere with each other and then those trains are forced by the system by by the circuits I called ejectors uh, to get out at the right time at the right moment with the timer and if you ask me this is anything good I would say not really uh, it's just interesting challenging uh, that's what I like to do usually and, uh, and, and I would like to make some kind of uh, manual for beginners for uh, less advanced players about us uh, about this main lane about injectors structure of the main lane about uh, the timer uh, how to build the timer uh, different ones I will explain how to do it in a simple way without getting into the the formulas that are uh, inside the, the code of the game uh, we don't need them However, the, uh, the, the time issue I will explain from a distance point of view. Not, not I will not talk about uh, the ticks. I will not talk about uh, time as a time. Uh, what I need to know uh, how to build the timer that will uh, give me, a, let's say, tick uh, every, let's say, in my case, every 90 tiles on the main lane. So the trains traveling on a main lane in my case 90 tiles and at each 90 tiles I'm getting a ping from uh, from the clock uh, I will not talk I don't want to talk about the rest of the the self-regulating network like uh, balancers yeah, different ones uh, how to synchronize entry to the station overflows and so on because those things are covered uh, by other youtubers and you can make them absolutely in many uh, different ways so I, I, I don't want to just talking about this that would be too long video so actually I think that's the introduction and we can uh, actually start uh, oh, maybe first we start talking about settings now a uh, part about the settings uh, just before we start doing this notice that this is very artificial very flat environment and uh, just it will be extremely difficult to make such a network on normal uh, map generated by the game you will get plenty of uh, industries and plenty of uh, towns you will have to f actually fight your way along along the map in order to make those injectors and ejectors and to synchronize them that would be quite difficult to make because each band uh, cost you the synchronization so you will have to i'm not saying it's Im not impossible but uh, it's it's going to be very hard so i suggest you to just make some kind of scenario for this with a couple times only i've got a three times and uh, and then uh, I built all those industries uh, let's say myself when I need them at the place where I want them uh, so uh, let's have a setting so the first I decided not to have any build uh, any build uh, industries so industry density funding only because for example you don't want to uh, have industry that will pop up suddenly at the place or uh, when you just wanted to uh, build your trucks and now uh, usually they, they pop up not one not two but many of those industries on the map and you have to delete them uh, time and time again so that's a bit annoying uh, so that's the one thing the next thing is to, to in order to make it work we need couple things like we don't want to have disasters uh, disasters accidents so that we want to dis uh, disable them 
we don't want to have any breakdowns as well that will uh, again uh, synchronize trains uh, the same we don't want to have the breakdowns for the logic any, any logic gates uh, if the train will broke down in the logic gate that logic will be broken as well uh, now the vehicles we want to have a uh, train acceleration mode realistic and uh, in uh, routing we want to have uh, where is this this one a uh, four bit trains and ships from making 90 degrees turns that's uh, for logic as well uh, something else I don't think so that is something else that I wanted to talk uh, actually about the uh, one more thing uh, so in a console you need to activate this command so um, press the button on the left hand side uh, next to your uh, key one with the number one so you get your console and use this uh, um, command set yap dot rail uh, first red to way uh, e o l that means end of line and one that's that will uh, enable you uh, that function and uh, when you save the game it will stay with you safe so that's about the setting now it's time to talk about the structure of the main lane uh, so let's have a look at it uh, yeah, so it's not like in the first first uh, version which was based on a uh, uh, old project of uh, a really great uh, legendary player in my opinion uh, Alopo who've done it in such a way that we've got over there two main lanes one uh, that goes from the right to left on the top and on the bottom that goes from uh, left to right uh, and uh, this time I have the one main lane that goes almost in a loop that loop is uh, not full it's, it's, it's broken over here it's broken because uh, uh the let's say longer the train goes it can accommodate a lot of errors so uh the best is way to eject it and eject it again with the uh, and this this way cancel all imperfections and now if any train gets to this section it means that the train is desynchronized uh, that something went wrong it's then you need to check uh, what kind of cargo is so you can uh, you know find the reason what's happened but it's so far it's 44 years in the game and nothing happened I mean I don't have any lost train it means that this uh, works quite very well and now uh, I decided to divide this uh, not like in a previous version uh, I decided to divide into blocks those blocks are quite large uh, that's my my actually timer so I have a blocks uh, long for 90 tiles uh, between those uh, three red lines yeah that's the one block and you have then oh sorry you have the next block over here and and so on so on we also have plenty of those blocks I think it's 29 or something the uh, blocks around this mine lane so it means uh, 29 cycles and uh, and that blocks are divided into smaller section about 15 tiles and why because my injector needs uh, around 12 tiles so just in order to have some kind of a breathing sp uh, space so I can um, uh, you know have a place for some some bridges some bridges like this yeah uh, so I just decided to have 15 you can of course always have your own versions so now uh, why I have those blocks because I decided to make a permanent setting in each block for each cargo so I'm going because this is Yeti industry set so the, let's say uh, the first one uh, from the right hand side top right now is empty that empty could be at the at the end of the block uh, but it doesn't matter if this is at the first or at the end it absolutely doesn't matter so the first is empty <coughs> I will explain it why it's empty later then we have the uh, machinery for one destination then is block for machinery another destination then for building materials food and dudes <coughs> so that's the structure and I know always that the last block will be used for injection or ejection uh, for my uh, dudes so that's uh, the last block it's for ejection for the dudes yeah and uh, the second one uh, the first one is empty the second one is for machinery yeah? so that's 
in this in this way I don't have to be worried and calculating all over again uh, time after time uh, if those trains are interfering with each other I just know exactly that when I get to the block I know immediately okay so at this point I can eject or I can inject uh, cargo particular cargo yeah so that's that the structure and I have a 90 it means that I need to build a 90 tiles uh, 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 um, timer for 90 tiles it means that the train travels that travels on along the main lane will travel during that cycle 90 tiles so how to do it at first it seems to be straightforward but it's not as straightforward we have a couple rules so we're going to explain I'm timer it's a timer uh, we see over here three timers they are very similar uh, but they build differently the red one is let's say the most precise one the other are actually our approximation of what we want to achieve but because we have some kind of uh, margin for error they work perfectly well so I can actually uh, reconnect those timers and the system still will work so I can just switching between those timers and the system still will be working very well uh, now to, to make this most precise timer the one on uh, uh, with the red uh, tracks uh, it's to use the same uh, speed train or uh, like on the main lane so on main lane we have a 502 and this one is 502 as well so that's actually this is the same engine so it means that at each cycle we will make exactly the same uh, distance now to calculate this which is not as straightforward at, at the first uh, you need to know actually couple rules the first one is uh, forget about the pure geometry and why because if I consider this as a one and I consider this as a one so what is this okay now if you if you run a pure geometry like this yeah so uh, so we have a point zero over here over here we have a one and over here we have a one so over here it means that we have 0.5 and 0.5 now you can run the pure geometry equation a square plus b square equals c square and then you can calculate what is this and you will get something like 0.7 and that will lead you to nowhere so forget about the pure geometry uh, that's the rule number one the second rule is that uh, when we draw it drawing like this the di diagonal lines it's uh, actually half so when you draw so assume that this is half yes and it will work with all the calculations we have perfectly so this is half and this is half it means that we have a one now it shows you on the on the screen that this is two but it's not two this is one and a half and this is two and so on so on yeah so that's the second rule this is a half of the tile now the next rule is uh, that the train along the straight line so let's say that uh, this is a straight line yeah straight line along the tile and this is as well straight line along the tile now this is a diagonal lane along the tile yeah so now if you run if you do if you make an experiment and you have a two trains the same uh, speed uh, the best the same engine so and you uh, run them for 100 tiles so you make uh, let's say a uh, mark and you watch this one on a straight line and when it's at the hundred you pause the game and then you check how many tiles the one made in the straight uh, in a diagonal lane uh, so you will find actually that the proportion is 100 to 75 it means that we made it over here only 75 so now we have a kind of a proportion 100 to 75 well, it actually means 4 to 3 and you can look it from the other side so when the train uh, travels over here 75 the one on a straight line will make a hundred so the calculation is very easy so uh, you just divide the hundred by 20 uh, by 4 and then multiply by 3 and you will get the number of tiles uh, the track uh, the train made on a diagonal lane and vice versa if you have these diagonal lanes you divide them by 3 and multiply by 4 and you will get your hundred over here so that's the third rule that's the way the, all the calculations are done by using proportion 
okay so that's this part and let's uh, now explain what we have over here let's build now uh, the red timer we know already that this is four and a half it's not five it's uh, four and a half uh, we have such a sides uh, diagonal sides uh, four so altogether we have 18 diagonal uh, tiles 18 divided by 3 equals uh, 6 multiplied by 4 equals 24 now 90 minus 24 equals 66 now I have over here 8 and on the bottom as well 8 it means that we can subtract 16 now we have a two, uh, 50 reminds 50 so divided by two sides equals 25 and that's our that's our timer and uh, the, the, the train on uh, in this timer makes exactly uh, 90 tiles long journey now you can decide if you want to have a green or red flash if you want to have a red you just build a, a block like this over here and you will get your uh, constant let's say green and red only when the train is within this block and uh, in my case I wanted to have uh, green so I built uh, uh, two tiles long uh, separate block like this yeah but because uh, it works this way that uh, when the f tail of this f of this uh, train passes the signal we will get green signal for the timer yeah so that's our sorry when it's when it oh, still is red now we have a green now this train because it's one tail long it travels one tile while this is green and when it touches the front of this train touches this signal actually passes it it immediately become red again yeah so we have a red and back red so i'm considering this as uh, let's say beginning of the cycle uh, so it means that i have one tile earlier mm, green and pink and uh, so I need to take it in account and as well to get the margin of error I need to shift the the block which is let's say over here one tile uh, more uh, that's what I've done over here and I have this margin for error thanks to shifting so this train uh, as you can see this is yeti duty right now it was in this actually in this this block when it got the green yeah now it's red because just the end of the it, it start a new cycle on this point yeah so that's the way it is working so now let's talk about the second timer which is built with a slower train uh, we know that our train on the main lane makes at a speed 5 of 2 kilometers per hour 90 tiles so how many tiles this one would make so we uh, make this equation 301 multiplied by 90 divided by 502 and is we have 53.96 and something uh, I can't make such a loop 53 point something I can make something close to that like 54 so if I have a 54 let's have a look how many times will make a train on the main lane in such a case so now we run the second equations which is very similar 54 multiplied by 502 divided by 301 and I'm getting result 90.05 and something actually if I round it up it will be 06 so it means that at each cycle I'm gaining uh, on the main lane 0 0.6 tile it means that I need actually uh, if I divided one by uh, this number uh, 0.05 and something I will get 16.7 it means that I need more than 16 cycles to get uh, one tile ahead which is very acceptable because that uh, the, the, the longest journey in this network is done by uh, this train it starts over here and it runs for uh, 14 blocks 14 cycles so it means that it, it will gain if we use that uh, timer only uh, less than a one tile so it's absolutely acceptable for the margin of error so you can use it so okay so we're going to build 54 
long uh, 54 tiles long timer over here so how to do it uh, so we have a two loops thanks to that the train doesn't stops uh, and uh, it keeps traveling at constant speed 301 over here is one diagonal second diagonal half a diagonal and half a diagonal that means we have a uh, three diagonal lines now multiply by two because two loops that's six six divided by three equals two multiply by uh, four equals eight and now we still in those loops have a straight line so one two three multiplied by two equals six six plus eight equals uh, 14 54 minus 14 equals to uh, 40 divided by 2 equals 20 that's our timer nothing else now the blue one I will not calculate you calculate it your, on your own uh, the difference is that the train actually stops at the end and that makes this this timer the less precise from all of them out of all of them as you can see uh, it stops and then starts again it's a very short period but uh, unfortunately it makes this uh, blow uh, timer the less uh, precise but it's working definitely it's working so that's actually everything I wanted to talk about the timers I believe that now you can create any timers that you want let's go further let's talk about injectors uh, in order to synchronize the entry of the trains uh, onto main lane uh, I use a circuit that I call injectors uh, like, like a compressor uh, so the job for it is to uh, create the same condition starting conditions for all the trains uh, so the starting condition is just zero speed so the train is for a moment stationary and waits for the pink or green flash from the timer now you need to notice that we have a two trains and like I said before empty trains travels during one cycle 83 tiles and requires 12 tiles uh, uh, for acceleration so we need some kind of uh, like run up uh, tracks so as you can see it this is uh, four and a half divided by 3 equals 1.5 multiplied by 4 equals 6 so that's 5 stands for 6 now another 6 and here we are now empty and uh, no that's uh, uh, full requires uh, 15 tiles for uh, to achieve the maximum speed and it travels a shorter distance 80 tiles yeah so let's have a look I'm, I'm pausing the game you will see the acceleration of the empty watch the empty one no yeah the empty one and it will achieve that uh, uh, full speed at this point yeah. yeah and here we are all the empty trains now the full one doesn't now to make it really properly I would have to shift this injection yes and uh, uh, to the left and as well build different uh, roundup I'm going to show you in a moment just like this <coughs> however I did it not because this working perfectly my margin for error is uh, big enough to cope with this problem so I left it however if I want to make it really properly I would have to go for something like this that's seven that's seven and a half seven and a half if I divide by three equals two and a half <coughs> multiplied by four is ten now another five and that's my run up yeah run up uh, proper run up shifted two ties to the left and you have a perfect uh, injector for empty train for full trains I just didn't want to build another different injector okay let's talk now about injector in itself Oops, I forgot to to tell you where to place uh, injector yeah so we know that empty trains travels 83 during one cycle and we have this 12 round up so 80 3 minus 12 uh, equals 71 so if I drag from here line uh, here that's 71 yes now the next cargo goes again 71 and the next cargo goes 70 sorry 70 
71 and so on so on so on now actually you can see why I have this one empty because that's that shifted injection gets into the next block and as I said before that empty block empty empty section of the of that block could be the last one from the block so those three red lines could be over here and that would mean that this is the end of the block not the beginning of the block but I've done it this way it doesn't matter it is working now let's go to uh, injectors uh, this uh, injector is much simpler to build than the previous one however it's not fail safe it can produce from time to time a small error uh, I will show you in a moment maybe not show just tell it now so what we have over here we have a not gate that looks into this block it means that we try to discover uh, the presence of the train in it uh, so if it's green it means that there is nothing so we getting thanks to not gate right over here and that skips the small signal on the left hand side of this uh, double entry now when the train approaches like over here we getting uh, change of state over here of this not gate we're getting green and that allows this train to pass this uh, double uh, entry signal but now we have a presence of this train ins I in inside this block and uh, that's why we have absolute red and this entry signal becomes red and because it's, this train is quite slow uh, it has to go to the end and then the back it takes uh, much longer time um, to travel uh, so this train has to stop as you can see it stops completely yeah now when this train moves beyond that to double signal uh, we now we free this block and this signal now become green because there is no presence of the train in this block and as well we have a green combo signal that's why this will come in green so we start moving from here to here and uh, now we're waiting actually we, we want to stop this train at this signal yes and this uh, signal looks into this block and into this uh, combo signal if this is red this will be red but we can have uh, this situation that uh, when this train will approach the signal will slow down and we'll have a small initial speed and at the same time <coughs> this combo signal become green because we get the timer the pink from timer and it means that this train will be able to pass the signal without fully stopping but this small uh, speed is a is a small error it will make this train travel a bit longer distance but we don't have to care about this this lies within the uh, margin for error for this uh, for this design so now train stopped we're waiting for the pink from the timer and all those trains are starting at the same time now about ejectors ejectors are very simple circuits their job is to force the train to get out of the main lane or to keep them on the main lane if there is not their time so for example right now the train is approaching <coughs> wrong uh, ejector so they will keep going on a straight line yeah now we are approaching the one which uh, we the right one but before we get there I would like to say a couple words about this ejector this combo actually is connected to timer and uh, because it's red the train over here on is on this right hand side it stops by the combo signal because this is red as well now this is a half a tile train so that those two exit signals they see the tail in this block well, we don't see it but that's the way it is now those uh, slip tracks are connected to those uh, tracks over here and we have a double uh, combo signals over here they see through this signal this one see through this signal this block so over here is train this is red <coughs> and the same with, with this this looks through this track over here this is red so this is red as well so that road is close 
double red signal means end of line and uh, that's end of line the pathfinder will not go this way now the other side is green we don't have a train in this block so those two exit signals are green they are connected to this main lane and <coughs> because we have a, a double green a double combo signal over here that they look to that block through those exit signals they see it's green so they are green and they open <coughs> now what will happen when we get that green pink it should be somewhere here and here we are uh, first thing notice that we have over here two tiles so the train can actually come over here two tails earlier so that our uh, margin for error yeah and then as well a train can can come a four tiles later and it still will be ejectable and that can be controlled by by this this track over here but the length of this track <coughs> you can slow down the train by just slowing the train or use the bridge a uh, slow bridge so you can have a slowed bridge and uh, you just need to use your own method whatever you want <coughs> so now what happened we got green the train start moving because that signal got green as well we don't see it because we have a train already this so this is this train but this signal is green so it moves now because it's half a tile long uh, it's very fast it removes from this block and we see immediately this green those two signals are green so those two uh, combo signals are green as well and uh, now this slip road is open like this one as well <laughs> now this one on the other side is red because we have a train in that block now they are red because they see the train combo signals are red because they see the train through those signals yes and because it's double uh, red red signal that's the end of line a pathfinder not supposed to go this way however if it does because our train doesn't have any orders so pathfinder is not very kind sometimes to the trains without the orders or the lost trains so sometimes you need to help this like building additional uh, track over here and uh, it's supposed to give the pathfinder an alternative way and sometimes it helps so you need to be creative sometimes <coughs> so that's the way it is so now we're going to eject our trains yes now this signal as you can see it's the same over here yeah so this is green as long as this train is on this side of uh, those blocking signals here yeah? so it goes this so was quite long long time so that's additional tree so actually our margin for error is actually f six tiles so two tiles for early trains and four tiles for late trains this is not entirely accurate but accurate but you can say that that's okay <coughs> all right so that's it we have more trains there yeah, they're coming not the time not the time not the time and here we go job done okay I'm going to show you something interesting as well now now let's have a look at this corner <coughs> it is bu built built uh, on purpose its job is to keep those two trains somehow synchronized on the bands now when you play on the normal map you will have a plenty such a bands and that will be difficult to keep synchronize synchronize those trains uh, so they can get properly ejected or injected so that's why I use such an artificial environment so let's have a look at this uh, the one train on the outer will be going at the full speed the second will twice slow down a bit and thanks to that it will keep going somehow synchronized it's not maybe the best synchronization I, I done it a bit better but I got back to this to, the, to this one it's fine absolutely fine it's something like uh, less than a half a tile so absolutely it's fine so that's how it is let's have a look do we have other yeah they coming so let's have a look how it would be without this uh, this funny thing so let's remove this let's build over here
let's have some signals and now wait for the that, that uh, double trains should be coming in a moment now I think yeah so now we have those two trains they go at the full speed and voila that's one two almost three tiles so I presume that I will not be able to eject this train okay that's about the corners that's why we have such a funny corner now one more thing I said in the section when I was talking about injectors that the one with the M, uh, full trains has to be uh, shifted and as well change this is this is not seven and a half so this is not going to be a full speed but that's what I actually wanted and I want to show you uh, the beginning of the margin for error why uh, you will see just in a moment uh, what I mean so we start those two trains and uh, they go uh, almost at the full speed you see it is almost because this is not proper uh, run up but that's what I wanted okay so the trains go and I will show in a moment uh, ejection uh, but first the corner uh, that's our trains that are approaching the corner so again the inner one will be slowing down now that inner one is just about half a tile behind the first one yes so watch what will happen at the ejection this is our ejection point now uh, watch what's going to happen now As you can see, the outside train just missed the ejection point. It still has a green over here. And this one just made it. Just made it. <laughs> so, actually, injection point over here. It would be okay if I just slow the train. Uh, so I made it uh, accelerating a bit slower and I would make it so that's the margin the, the beginning of the margin for error that's that's uh, how we get it so now this train is desynchronized and it's going to be nightmare as well for this so two trains we lost two trains already yeah those two trains are will not going to be ejected so actually that will be about this self-regulating network everything what I wanted to say so uh, this let's say very complicated thing uh, appear to be not very much complicated I think it's doable and uh, I had a lot of fun doing this uh, I hope it's understandable if not just uh, before you start giving me dislikes just maybe ask me first questions so I can have a chance to answer it and anyway uh, I'm not sure when will be next video about open TTT if ever I don't know uh, thank you for watching I hope the information I provided in this video will be useful for somebody thank you for watching uh, thank you for your support if you can give me a like I will be very happy uh, and uh, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.